And this is a pretty radical design. I'm going to just walk around it if I could. We'll go over some of the features after I walk around it. It's a big car. Um, I mean, it's, it's long, it's wide. You'll see how wide it is in the back. It's tall. The tires are very tall. The fins in the back are really tall. It's got a very, very unusual front end to it. These, uh, these are called floating lights or floating headlights? Floating headlights, yep, that's correct. Check that out. Very unique. I don't know if everybody liked that or not, but it's definitely unique. And these fins, these fins are really big. And they have floating taillights too. Don't they? Yes. Yep. With the faux uh, tire. Is that what the, they called it? Faux, faux tire? Correct. Yeah. It was a, meant to look like a spare tire. Something that held a spare tire. This is really, really wide in the back. I mean, uh, Scott's got a lot of nice cars, a lot of big cars, but this one seems exceptionally big in the back and wide. Fins are really tall, too. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're close to the 59 Cadillac in height. Are they? Close, yeah. Well, Scott's got a 59 Cadillac. He's got a couple 59 Cadillacs. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a chance to review. But check out the chrome on the side of this car. Look at that chrome. It's even got a, what would you call that, an eagle? Yes. Yep. And it's kind of notched into the chrome, the way they uh, cut it out to fit in there. And it has like an anodized... Uh, metal behind the chrome eagle. Yeah, gold plated. Gold plated, yeah. Gold and chrome uh, working together there. And look at the reflection of this thing. This is amazing. Yeah, and if you come to the back of the trunk on that faux tire, I mean, just look at the amount of yeah. artwork or detail. And this eagle is represented There's, throughout the whole car. It's part yeah. of its symbol. There's an eagle in there, and it's you know, it's it's lifted up off of the, the tire itself. It's kind of got the detail all the way around it. Neat. Very neat. Tail lights are crazy. The tail lights. <laughs> the floating tail lights, too. Look at that. Almost looks like an afterthought. Yeah, actually, I'll turn the light on. You can see it. Yeah, if you could. Yeah, it reflects quite a bit from the back of it as well. There you go. And that's the turn signals as well. <laughs> yeah, there's a lens back here that reflects into this chrome trim that runs up the top. Yeah. So it only it, it almost reflects double uh, double time on the fin as well as the lens itself. And I noticed earlier the uh, the lens is kind of turned in towards the, the back a little bit. It's not straight at you. Yeah, yeah. It's got a slight angle on it, both of them. And I believe that's how they made them. I can only imagine how often those got going. They're kind of turned in a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, they don't protrude out beyond the bumper. That's true. Yeah. But they're just hanging out there. So <laughs> I'm sure somebody got something caught up on it at some point. Yeah. Look at this. Imperial. It's got a nice little uh, design here around the lock yeah yeah very comfortable and a very heavy door and your reverse tail lights are about oh, is that the where they're at? yeah on both sides it really puts out a large amount of light check that out very impressive and uh, this car is just as beautiful and clean underneath uh, yeah, went under a 15-year restoration did you hear that, folks? 15 years to restore this car. Now, this was restored in Sweden? That's correct. Um, Scott and I were talking about it. Maybe they had a little bit of trouble getting parts shipped out there, you think? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. You're not going to find too many of these in the boneyards out in Sweden. And these uh, wheel covers. Oh, yeah, these are fascinating. Very similar to the, the one on the trunk. Yeah, so you have the Eagle again, right? Yeah. All over the place on this car. And then... They're open. Yeah, I believe these hubcaps were only on the crowns, imperial crowns. Wow. 
and they're they're kind of like finned. Yeah, it's very, almost two different finishes here: a chrome and a, a brushed, yeah, yeah, or a satin sort of. Hubcaps are probably the favorite part of the car for me. <laughs> you like them? They're, they're pretty unique. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've seen one quite like it. Very tall Firestone buyer supply tires. Yep. Very, uh, very nice. Trim in front of the wheel well here as well. Yeah, stone chip protector probably. Yeah, a lot of chrome on this car. These door handles are pretty neat. Very solid, ribbed. Again, we have the imperial font. Check that out. Is that cool or what? With, with, with the crown. With the crown. <laughs> and it's got that gold anodized behind it as well. You can see that. I mean, they were doing anything to set themselves apart, weren't they? Crazy stuff. I wonder if that was somebody's uh, handwriting, somebody in the design maybe, studio's handwriting. Maybe. I mean, obviously, this was Virgil Exner. Yeah, maybe career. that's Virgil Exner's handwriting. I think this was towards the end of his career or getting to the end of his career. Here's something I noticed was pretty neat. That says, what, gum dipped with the Firestone logo? I do dipped. not know what that means. Maybe one of the I don't listeners either. know. <laughs> yeah, if you know what that means, uh, tell us what that means. Gum dipped. Um, obviously, it's something to do with Firestone tires. I actually have a buddy that uh, made Firestone mm -hmm. tires. I should ask him. Very neat. And of course, look at these floating headlights. That's pretty cool. Some people have asked Stick me, hand do they in turn there? with the steering wheel? They do not. <laughs> They do not turn with the steering wheel. And it's got four of them up front. Again, Imperial. And this is a AACA Junior car. Scott's going to, uh, I'm sure, run this through the AACA system, right? Yes, it's a wonderful organization. Very large antique car club. Yep. I think there's over 60,000 people in it. Now this has the headlights and the parking lights above the uh, the headlights, rather. Yep. yep. So that's this part here, yeah. and that's also the turn signal. Okay. It's a big lens. Yeah. I guess you can see that pretty good if it's behind you, right? Yeah, probably. Yep. You almost don't see it when you're standing up in front of the car. Yeah, it looks like part of the chrome trim. Yeah, up here you don't see them at all. I never. Down here. That, but you're right. Yes. And uh, it has these, what would you call these, Scott? Bumperettes? Yeah, probably just an extra protector or for aesthetics. Yeah, I think it's more for aesthetics. And again, another eagle. Yeah. <laughs> this actually, I asked if this actually came out somehow, you just grab it maybe to undo the hood. Yeah. But it has a more traditional latch for the hood from the inside. Yeah. But the chrome on this car is beautiful. Everything on, on this car has been addressed. It is a big, big car. Look how wide the fender is before yeah, you get to the hood. You want to pop the hood yeah, and we take a look yeah. in there? Nice. Now, what are we looking at, Scott? Uh, 413. 413, four barrel. Yep. V8. V8. I'm sure it's well over 300 horsepower. Plenty of power. Imperial. You see that uh, logo on the, the valve covers? Look how big the fenders are, right? Yeah. And then just to access the engine, how much room there is from the radiator to the grill. Apparently, they used these for demolition derby. Yeah. Because they were. They're pretty stout protected. cars. The engine was protected quite a bit from the front end and a heavy car and the frame in this car is... <laughs> You've got a lot of the decals in here in place, the markings, correct uh, hose clamps. Is this the correct coloring? I guess it is, right? It is. Mm -hmm. Black block, black valve covers. As it came from the factory. Gold air breather. Beautiful, beautiful hood pad looks super clean. Even the rubber uh, pad there, strip there is beautiful. Very nice. Everything in this car has been addressed. You can tell it's uh, 
It's a showstopper. All right, can you open up the inside? Sure. Now you're gonna to have to get in here and point out all the crazy features of this car. First, let me look at that door panel. Look at the size of the door. Yeah, it's got the crown. It's got this uh, crazy latch here. You just grab it and pull back. Look at all the buttons. Now, Scott told me, uh, you can figure out these are for the windows. I assumed one was for the power vent, which it is. But both of these are for the vent. One for the driver and one for the passenger side. Correct. I assumed that was like a power door lock or something. The other really was wrong. cool thing is the glass is curved. Where most cars, it's straight. Oh, yeah, it does have a curve to it. Mm -hmm. Right along here, that's kind of curved. How about that? <laughs> and, the stuff. and it's tinted too, isn't it? Or is it not? Maybe it's my I'm imagination. Sure. Yeah, maybe a little bit. And the step plates have rubber as well as yeah. the step plate itself. Imperial, look at that. Imperial, yeah. For once, no eagle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you can see there's a crown emblem here. Yeah. Right. And then on the door panel, there's a crown. Yeah. I mean, uh, emblems all over the place, right? right here yeah. Too. Just crazy stuff. And there's the power uh, bench seat switch right there. It's pretty oh. cool. A lot of chrome on the side of this door. Yeah, and the back. It looks up too. I mean, just look at the metal and ornamentation on the back of the seat. Right yeah. It's just incredible. There's a lot of detail on this. You know, they were trying to compete with Cadillac and Continental. Yeah. Well, they were doing a hell of a job. There's some diehard Imperial lovers out there. I'm one of them. You're one of them, yeah. I have Continentals and I have Cadillacs too, but... But this is special. Yes. Look at the pattern on the seats. Um, on the bottom, it rolls around and goes right down to the carpet. That I've never seen before. It's like a tuck and roll, I guess, right? All the way down <laughs> to the bottom. And the uh, courtesy lights are in place and look really cool. Look at the ashtray. It's got a crown on the ashtray door. Right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the eagle. And another eagle. Oh, my gosh. The uh, power window switch. The lighter for the ashtray. This is really nice. Something else I noticed was the latch on the convertible top. Let me get in here real quick. Look at this latch. You grab it from here and you pull it down. And it's got like a, uh, a finish here, like a ribbed finish, so to speak. It's just a big piece of hardware, you know? <laughs> it's a big, heavy piece of hardware. You just pull it down like that. Very cool. Now, there's a lot going on in this dash. I'm going to step out a little bit, get a wider view. What can you tell us, Scott? Uh, well, first of all, the steering wheel you can kind of see is square. Yep. <laughs> right, it's round on the sides and more flat on the sides, tops. Yeah, it's a square wheel. Very unique. It's very. It takes a little getting used to when you drive it. And then another eagle, gold eagle in the middle. <laughs> yeah. And you got your clock, which is really nice because it's easy to see. Yeah. Obviously, speedometer and your fuel gauge, your temperature gauge, battery, and all the way at the other end is oil your pressure. oil pressure. Thank you. And a lot of times people don't realize, but this is where you put your key in for the ignition. Yeah, when I looked at it for the first time, I thought it was missing one of the knobs, but that's the hole for the key. And it's interesting. You have this pod and then a symmetrical pot on the other side. Yep. This is one of the, I think, the coolest dashboards in a car. And your temperature control, as far as being cool and warm, is this piece right here. Okay. And then obviously, as identified, you can see your choices, yep. which is really cool. And then going across is your oh, antenna. Power, Power antenna. antenna. Yeah, yeah. We should point that out. Yeah, and then the lights and the wipers, and it's push button control. Right here, for it's changing your, gears. Gears, and your turn signal lights up here, and your right side turn signal lights up here. Yeah, very unique. So, 
Pretty cool. Even the gas pedal and brake pedal, you know, stainless steel on them, really unique. Very nice. And this switch here, this knob over here, that's for your uh, mirror uh, on the other yes, side of your... Yes, that's the mirror. You know, and your autotronic eye. Yeah. That will dim your headlights when you're coming to an oncoming car with lights on it so you don't blind them, kind of like we have today on our cars. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, pretty advanced for the time. And then if you kind of shoot across again with yeah. the dash, you got your crown symbols here and the word imperial, which is very, very cool. Yeah. yeah. And this is slick. your glove box, which is kind of married into the rest of the design. You almost don't even see it. Yeah, and two ashtrays. Two ashtrays. Yeah, and then your your radio as well. So the passenger gets their own ashtray up front. Yeah, well, those were the big days when you smoked, right? <laughs> I guess you didn't share ashtrays. No, <laughs> no, we all wanted our own ashtray. <laughs> oh, jeez. And you have a, uh, a courtesy light above the radio. Yeah, I guess they call that a map light, maybe. A map light, yeah, that like makes that, sense. So. And up here is a speaker as, for the defrost as well. Yeah, yeah. Speaker and defrost. Exactly. And you have the chrome trim that goes around the dash. And around the top. Up the top, yeah. and then around the top of the dash. Yeah, it almost looks like a brushed aluminum or something. You think? Is that what it is? I'm quite sure what it is, but it's very... Is the passenger mirror pretty. remote, or is that a manual? It is not. It's a manual. Yep. This mirror's pretty cool. Hey, Scott, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I like the wheel. I like this pad in the middle. Yeah. It's uh, it's pretty unique. This horn bar here. Yeah, the whole instrument and steering wheel. I'm a big steering wheel guy. It's an instrument because it's what you're looking at the whole time you're driving the yeah. car, right? So it's yeah. cool to be able to hold on to something that's uh, it's very cool. Look at the jams of this car. Look how clean this is. The hinges, the wiring grommet. I mean, everything in here is really, really clean. Even the tag here on the uh, on the door jam is sparkling. This is a really nice car. I mean, it, it's. It was rare when it was new. It was pretty rare, but I can imagine how rare it is now. This top, Scott was telling me this top has never been down as long as you've owned it. Yeah, I've not put it down. I'm afraid to get wrinkles in it. I don't blame you. <laughs> I wouldn't put it down at all. It's, it's like brand new. It's tight. The plastic rear window is clear. There's no yellowing whatsoever. Yeah, this is a special car. I've seen this car at shows uh, probably three or four different times. And uh, every time I go to it and try to take a video of it, there's people around it. Yep. You know, I, I could never get a really nice video of this car where people weren't um, around it asking questions. And, you know, I thought one day I'm going to have to get this thing at Scott's Garage and, and do it right. And uh, as you can see, this car is really, really unique. 429 were made, you said? 429. 429. No idea how many are left, huh? No, I would say maybe 20, 30. And of those, I'm sure they're all nice, but I can't see one being nicer than this. This is a Concord quality uh, restoration. I like it. It's even got that chrome uh, chrome trim on the front of the convertible top. It's just pretty neat. A lot of chrome on this car. Yeah. yeah. And it's got the wipers that uh, go back and forth from the center. A lot of trim on this car. This is definitely a showstopper, Scott. Scott's got a lot of nice cars and a lot of wild looking cars. Um, stay tuned to the channel. Scott's been uh, generous enough to invite me to his garage to take a look at a lot of his stuff. And all of his stuff is uh, of high quality. But uh, Scott, thank you for inviting us to your garage. Thank you. Um, thank you. Folks, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave your comments. Tell me what you think of this car. Um, like the video if you like the video, but definitely subscribe and stay tuned for more fantastic cars. And we'll catch you on the next road trip.